The second part of this webinar will be much more technical than the first one. So I will um, basically do a hands-on. I will first show you um, some of the Cicada models and some of the hardware uh, I have available. Uh, then I will uh, start a live demonstration running it uh, on a, a STM Nucleo microcontroller and um, forwarding the output uh, to the computer. And then I will actually um, do a code walkthrough through this example code um, that I just showed before. And I <laughs> just fell down. I have this uh, Cicada modules here. I just uh, show them into the camera. So this is basically the Wi-Fi module uh, based on the Espressif A266 um, microcontroller. Uh, then we have a 2G cellular module here. Um, this is based on the uh, quite popular SIM 800 module. Uh, and then there is this uh, 4G module. Uh, it's based on the SIM 7600 module. And uh, yeah, this... Um, small PCBs I just showed. They are also published in GitHub and uh, available as uh, open source hardware. Um, so the hardware is actually um, rather simple. So it's basically just this module on a PCB with a power supply and uh, some antenna networks depending on the, on the module you use. So this is um, rather simple, but it's still very useful to use as the reference design. And uh, basically you can just, you probably don't want to use the modules exactly as they are if you build a product, but it's still a very good reference. You can just copy and paste um, the hardware design into your own design and use that one. So basically the, the Wi-Fi module is just a power supply and the expressive modules, the 2G and 4G models are a bit more sophisticated. They also have uh, an um, antenna network. They have obviously the SIM card reader. And what's also important there is to have a very stable power supply because one of the problems we had is there are some pre-made models you can order on AliExpress or whatever, but the power supplies on them were actually too weak to support the current spikes the model used. So we had to create our own power supplies. So um, let me quickly show one more thing. This is basically um, at Okra. This is the main board of our solar controllers. And uh, whenever you want um, to change your mo uh, communications modules, it just plugs in here. And yeah, basically just a plug and play solution. So when uh, ever we want uh, to use it with a different module, um, we just chip the main board with a different module installed and we don't have to change anything at our firmware. So it's just uh, the same code to transfer all of them. Um, yeah, that was, the little, that was a little introduction to the hardware. And uh, the next thing is um, I will actually start with the live demonstration. Let me again first show the hardware. So I have a little um, STM Nuclear developer board here. So you can see uh, the microcontrollers over here, this chip. And this has currently uh, connected two um, modules. In that case, I don't use the um, Cicada PCBs. I just connected the modules directly with these wires over here. It has a Wi-Fi modem, which you see on the top here. And uh, with these wires here, it has, again, a SIM 800 module connected to it. And uh, yeah, now you've seen the hardware. I will um, start sharing my screen and show you some code. Um, just need to select the right screen over here. Chromium. Okay, yeah, you should now be able to see uh, my VS code with the uh, example code. And uh, yeah, so this um, this around uh, 200 lines file is basically um, the example I will walk you through now. Uh, on a high level, what it does basically is in, it initializes all the drivers. Um, then it detects the modem with that modem detector. 
Um, then it connects to a web server, sends a uh, HTTP request, um, receive the, receives the website from a web server and actually forwards it, forwards it from the microcontroller to the terminal on, on my computer so that we can see the website. Um, let me quickly check which is enabled. So we will um, first start with the Wi-Fi module. Um, so here you have, I have two terminals. Um, one is um, for flashing and compiling code. And here you actually have the serial UR part, um, which gives the output from the, if displays the output from the microcontroller. And we start with compiling. We use uh, Nason and Ninja uh, as, as the build system. And then we actually flash. Now writes the binary to the microcontroller. And uh, yeah, now you see here on the output that it actually detected the expressive model. Uh, it's happening faster than I can talk. So it detected the expressive Wi-Fi module. Then it connected to the web server, uh, receives the HTTP header, and yeah. finally yeah. fetches this weather report from the website. Sorry to interrupt, yeah. but we still see in your code. We don't see the live demo screen. Oh, that's very weird, actually. Uh, um, okay, I saw this, share my screen. Okay, just give me a second. Some the screen. Uh, okay, sorry for that. Um, probably just shared uh, just one window um, instead of sharing my screen. Yeah. So we just could have seen. But yeah, here it's basically. Um, I shall quickly repeat what I did. So I called Ninja, which compiles the code. Then I flashed it to the microcontroller, and this is the output from everything um, where it detects. It says detect the expressive Wi-Fi module. Uh, then it connected, and then it fetches this weather report from the website. Um, but yeah, any, I wanted to show it again anyway, because I want to do the same procedure now with uh, Tucci module. Um, so as I said before, I have two modules connected to this. It's just uh, another module on another UART board. So I comment out this part of the code, and instead I comment in this part of the code. So it's the same uh, object which is created, just with different uh, pins, with a different UART port and different pins with the other module connected. So we do the same thing again. File, flash. Now I see it live, what I just did before. And if I change terminal now, you see that it actually detects the 2G, the 2G, um, 4G modem. It says 2G, 4G because it's uh, um, actually the different drivers, but they uh, they inherit one base instance. So we can just use the SIMCOM driver in this case. And again, it fetches the weather report from the website. So um, yeah, this was the, the live demonstration. And now I uh, probably use around 10 more minutes to walk you through that code so yeah now you should be able to see uh, the VS code again um, so this is um, everything is happening in the main function over here you have basically some uh, in initializations you have um, the cicada um, the buffer in, in initializations for all the drivers um, so basically in cicada all buffers are user supplied uh, this is useful because there are different ways how you want um, to actually initialize your buffer. It could be in the heap, it could be in the stack, it could be on uh, on a local function stack, or it could be a global um, stack, whatever. So you just create your buffer wherever you want to create it. And then when you actually create one of the driver objects, you will hand in uh, that user created buffers over here. So these lines actually create the, this, um, there's also serial drivers included in the library. In this case, we use the STM32 serial driver. 
Um, we also create ser create the serial driver for the debug UART, which um, which just used um, to connect to the PC. Um, then we create a serial uh, driver here for the specific modules. And then we actually start creating the modem detector object, um, which, uh, which has this auto detect feature. So the, how the detector basically works is um, you create this uh, modem detector object, um, then you run, um, you add it to the uh, Cicada internal task handler, and um, then you have to go to the main loop and call its uh, run method, which we do here. And um, basically what the modem detector task uh, does is it uh, tries to send 8T commands to the modem to figure out which module is installed. And then it gives you back the uh, correct C++ driver object of that specific modem you want to use. So um, that basically happens here. Um, you um, first you start the detector, then you go to the main loop. Um, and uh, as soon as you have this flex set modem detected, you basically actually assign your COM device um, to the actual modem driver object, which happened here. And then you can basically um, figure out which device you actually got. Um, a common way to do this in C++ is with a dy dynamic cast. So you try to cast it to a SIMCOM device, which is for these 2G or 4G modems. If you have a SIMCOM device, you still have to set the APN, which we do here. Um, if, if it's not the 2G or 4G modem, uh, this um, dynamic cast will just return zero uh, and uh, the function goes on. And uh, the same thing we do for Wi-Fi. If it's a Wi-Fi module, we set some uh, username and password. So this uh, password is actually the one of our co-working space. It's not uh, committed to GitHub. Um, and yeah, depending on if you have some other models, you can do other casts. For example, you can cast to a 2G modem, to a 4G modem or whatever. And but this way you can determine which model you actually have. Uh, this is again uh, generic, which is valid for all uh, the communication devices. You set host and uh, port, and then you can actually call connect. Um, so the next event uh, here in this main loop is the actual uh, connection up. So if as soon as the modem is connected, um, you will have the COM device is connected method returning true. Um, within this method, um, what we uh, do here is uh, we, yeah, we print obviously the line to the debug UART, and then we actually uh, build up the HTTP header, which we write to the COM device. Um, and then we set this flag to true because we don't want to call this event ever again. Um, and the next event is um, the actual receive event. So you have another method, um, com device by its available, which basically tells you um, that there is new data and how much new data. Um, so this is called whenever there's data available and what it basically does is it just reads the data from the com device and forwards it to the debug UART so we can see it on the computer's uh, modem screen. And uh, at the end finally, so basically, um, as you see here, we have uh, set the connection close flag in the HTTP header. So the um, remote host closes the connection as soon as it um, has sent all the data from the website. And uh, this is basically the close event. So once um, the communication device is again back to idle state, we just uh, print the uh, debug message that we disconnected and we exit the main event loop. Um, so this was uh, pretty much all you have to do for this example um, to detect the modem and fetch the website. Um, probably some more words to this um, event loop. So how it basically works, um, this is, a, I think, quite a common pattern in microcontroller development. You basically have just one big main loop, which uh, just runs um, over and over again. 
and within this main loop you call uh, different um, uh, you call different um, task methods and handle your events. So um, for Cicada, we have an internal task scheduler. It's a very simple scheduler. It's not, not like what you know from um, high-end operating system schedules. It basically just checks if um, all the tasks in the list uh, are due to run. And if, it, if it's due to run, meaning it has a certain timeout, then actually it runs the task. So Basically, what you have to do is you have to create a Cicada scheduler. You have to add um, your tasks to the task list, which in our case is just a modem detector. Um, and then within a main loop of your microcontroller, you call um, this um, Cicada task scheduler uh, run task method. Um, you have to call it repeatedly. Um, yeah, that's basically how this works. Um, I can quickly show you how uh, an internal driver works. For example, if I open this SIM 800, um, the TPP driver, um, this is also only 400 lines um, source code file, which is um, implementation of the full SIM 800 driver. And basically this run method is um, what I showed before has to uh, be called periodically from the main event loop. And all the internal tasks in Cicada, uh, mainly the drivers, um, but also like the detector, uh, the serial driver, or whatever, all those are implemented as, uh, inter as state machines internally. So it basically means um, uh, for example, here you have the uh, main uh, state machine for sending out the comment. Um, oh no, sorry, this is um, this was for receiving re uh, replies. So this is the state machine for actually sending the AT comments. So you have different states. You are first not connected, then you handle your states. You usually send a bunch of AT comments, uh, and then you go to your next state. So, for example, here you send first a comment to not um, reply, to not echo the characters which go to the modem. Then you go to the next step. Then you send a bunch of configuration for these modems. In this uh, case, it's the um, how it um, the active or passive mode, basically, but the flow control of the modem. Um, and then you actually uh, set APN. Um, then you actually uh, set up your connection, uh, which is over here first, the uh, cellular connection, then the um, actual TCP or UDP connection. And then um, you finally are in the connected states, which, which is actually for handling um, incoming and outgoing data. Yeah, there are different states also for actually processing the data. And in the end, you basically just have to disconnect and finalize states again. Um, yeah, that was a quick, quick introduction how a modem driver looks like. Um, let me probably finally go back to the main example. So I already went through the main loop. Um, and everything that comes after is just boilerplate code to initialize your uh, main MCU. This is just copied from this. Um, there is this um, program where you can get bo create boilerplate codes for STM32 microcontrollers called uh, CubeMX is the name. So this is just auto generated with CubeMX. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Um, let me quickly check in the chat. Okay, I see that there is a bunch of questions in the chat, so I think it's a good opportunity to end this uh, demonstration.